but it's uh, mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them. You have made them a little lower in, than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You made them rulers of, over the work, works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, both flocks, herds, and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea, all that swim in the path of the sea. Lord our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Amen. Don't, don't put it away yet. Um, verse 3 says, cuando, en español, cuando veo tus cielos, obra de tus sedes, la luna y las estrellas que tú formas, te digo, que es el hombre para que tengas de él memoria, y el hijo del hombre para que lo visites. Can you read verses um, 3 and 4 for me again? When I consider your heaven, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is mankind that uh, you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them. Human beings that you care for them. This, this, when I read this psalm, those two verses are the ones that caught my, mo my attention the most. And the first and sec the first and last ones because they repeat themselves. But let me, let me just go to third and fourth verse. Um, third and fourth verses, because it says when, when I look at the sky, when I look at what you have created, when I look at you and then I consider man, it talks about how, what is man for you to, to remember him? Why is the Lord taking time to remember us? He does it every day. Every day that you wait, every day that you have a plate of food, a food in front of you, every day that you have for the older guys and older um, ones of us adults, you have jobs, you know, you you are blessed. Why? What makes me so worthy? What makes me so worthy that God is willing to, to make sure that my needs are met on a daily basis? I'm not worthy. When, when we could look at this sky, and I was kind of hoping that this would be a dark sky because I, you know, I, I imagine we would see the stars. But imagine for a moment, and when we came here last night, full of stars created by Him. A multitude of stars created by Him. And He knows each one, the same way He knows each one of you, the same way He knows me, more intimately than anything and anyone. I've been married to David for a long time. I've known him for most of my life. Since we were eight years old, David and I know each other. You would think that he knows me more intimately than anybody else. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. Because he's not my God. He doesn't know my innermost thoughts. He doesn't know everything that God knows. And only God can know that. And I'm so thankful for that opportunity, that relationship, that I'm not deserving of. And I just, it, it fills me, it fills my heart to know that I can look up at the heavens and know that the God that created all of that, when I look around us and I see the beauty of, of the mountains, that God created that for us, I'm not worthy. And I'm just so thankful that, that the word reminds us that we are worthy because God loves us. It starts and it finishes the same way. Oh Jehová, Señor nuestro, cuán glorioso es tu nombre en toda la tierra. David, in English, the first verse or last one, whichever one, because they're the same. <coughs> Lord our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. How majestic <laughs> is your name. What, what, um, what words? of praise were given by David when he wrote this to his Lord, his Savior, his God. And that's the way we should feel when we look around us. Sometimes the, 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 we might miss the, the majestic things around us because we're so self-involved. We're worried about, you know, do I have, well, not me personally, but maybe I, I want a, a girlfriend or, or a boyfriend, you know, but depending on your gender. And you're more concerned about the fact that you don't have a relationship right now with somebody. Or maybe your your life is not perfect right now. Quizás nuestra vida no esté en lo más perfecto que queramos. 
quizás estemos sufriendo algo en este momento. Este no, desafortunadamente no estamos viendo la majestad. A mí me gusta la versión que leyó David porque usa la, la palabra majestad. Aquí es cuán grande es tu nombre en toda la tierra. No podemos perder vista del, de la belleza de lo que el Señor nos da, porque tenemos un problemita, o estamos preocupados por alguno, alguna necesidad o alguna enfermedad en nuestra vida. Somos bendecidos diariamente, y solamente la oportunidad de poder despertar cada día es una bendición. Y qué bendición que podemos venir aquí así juntos y poder contemplar, contemplar la gloria de Dios. How beautiful that we could come together and really contemplate on the beauty of God and the beauty of, 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 of a family in Christ that you can share it with. Poder venir unidos en familia en Cristo y poder disfrutar esto es una bendición que no tiene comparación. You could take a lot of wonderful trips this summer. You can do a lot of awesome things. You know? You can do some just amazing things this summer. But nothing, nothing will be more amazing than taking the time to share with your family in Christ this beautiful time of unity that the Lord has blessed you with. Podemos tomar un viaje bien especial este verano. Podemos hacer cosas fantásticas este de verano, pero nada va a comparar con la oportunidad de venir juntos como hermanos en Cristo y unirnos en una para darle gracias a Dios y gozar este tiempo en familia. Amén. Amén. Um, obviously, you know, we're going to sing a song that the youth can sing with us, and they've been singing this since they were little, so they can help us out with the youth. Your, your wonderful manly voices over there are our men, our young men. Um, let's sing unto the O Lord. Where did we lose one more Okay. Um, we're going to sing unto the O Lord. After we sing unto the O Lord, um, Evelyn is going to come and she's going to sing for us. Yes? Okay. I'm sorry? Hello, Lord. So, um, men, I need you to leave this side. I will be doing the girl voice. Oh, Dios mío, 
Amén. 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 Yo voy a pedir a Evelyn que pase adelante. Luego que Evelyn termine, el, el, el muy talentoso Chiro Rivera nos va a cantar también. Entonces, that's perfect. Entonces, luego el hermano Nelson sigue con las alabanzas. Amén. Hi guys, Dios les bendiga. Solo quería uh, decir una cosa breve, solo para uh, tener un, un entendimiento más, porque Dios dice que le tenemos que alabar con entendimiento. I'm just gonna share short something brief so that you know you guys can understand what I'm saying. It's in it's translated, so but we have to praise God with our understanding. We can't be praise him blindly because he is a personal God and he wants us to know him. Okay? Okay. Um hoy en la clase estamos um hablando sí de la unidad, pero también tocamos de uh, un punto sobre el Espíritu Santo. Y a mí me encanta hablar del Espíritu Santo porque el Espíritu Santo es a quien Dios mandó para ayudarnos aquí en la tierra cuando vamos uh, por tribulación. Él es el que nos revela al Padre. Si no fuera por Él, no lo tuviera, no, no pudiéramos entender los misterios que Dios tiene escritos en su palabra. Entonces, siempre es el Espíritu Santo que nos da esa revelación, entendimiento de quién es el y qué Jesús hizo por nosotros. Y esta canción se trata del Espíritu Santo y solo eh, que el que un anhelo por estar en su presencia y rendirse a tus a tus pies y sola y por medio de esa Um, ese rendimiento podemos adorarle a él y adorar a Jesús porque, Jesús porque el Espíritu Santo vino a revelar lo que Jesús enseñó aquí en la tierra ¿entienden?
but then also understanding that it's only through the Holy Spirit that we can praise Jesus. Because without the Holy Spirit, we wouldn't know who Jesus was. Because the Holy Spirit came to reveal who Jesus was, what he did for you on that cross. Okay? Everyone understand? So the Holy Spirit.